Hi there, welcome to our YouTube channel. Before I begin with the unboxing, disassembly and assembly guide, we would like to say a big thank you to EasyPresso for providing us a retail sample unit for our review. Now for the unboxing. The JMX comes in a cylindrical hard case. There's a brown card. Scan the QR code for the user guide and the grind settings guide. The blower. The crane handle side. The dual brush. The main unit. This is the band which you can put over the grip for that extra grip the color of the body is iron gray and a special symbol is embossed on the grip to celebrate the year of the ox which is the Chinese zodiac sign of 2021 next I'm going to show you where is the true starting point. The true starting point is when the zero is directly below the top of the scale mark. From the true starting point, there are a total of four and a half rotations, which translates to 400 plus clicks. There are 90 clicks in a single complete rotation. Each click moves the burr by 8.8 .8 microns. Next. How to remove the magnetic catch cup? Either turn clockwise, anti clockwise, or just simply pull out. The magnetic catch cup capacity is from 35 to 40 gram which is more than sufficient for espresso or pour over. Now for this assembly guide, remove the crane handle set. Next, remove the magnetic catch cup. Make sure the adjustment dial ring is at the true starting point. Next, turn the adjustment dial by around two full rotations. Next, press the inner bolt upwards. And at the same time, turn the thumb nut anti-clockwise to remove. Remove the inner burr. Remove the upper bearing. And the upper bearing cap. Remove the lower bearing cap from the shaft. And the spring. This is a titanium coated burr and according to EasyPresso, this burr is with a new completely geometry which enables it to produce more fines.
and lastly never never remove the adjustment dial ring Hi, welcome to the assembly guide Remember to turn the adjustment dial ring back to the true starting point Slot the spring which is non-directional to the shaft Next Slot the lower bearing cap which is directional Do note that the side of the raised edge is facing upwards Next, slot the inner burst back to the body Put the upper bearing which is non-directional And the upper bearing cap Do note that the side with concave edge is facing upwards Next, press the inner bar upwards from the bottom while at the same time tighten the thumb nut Put the magnetic catch cut back and the crank handle set. Now comes the last part of this video, grind quality test. For this test, I'll be grinding for espresso. And the setting is 1. Complete rotation plus number 4. The amount of coffee beans I'm using for this test is 18 gram. Let's grind away Grinding done Right now, let me pour the coffee grounds into the tray so that you viewers out there can analyze better. Hmm, what do you think?